So assessing tone in the lower extremity is a very simple task. The most important thing, again, just like in the upper extremity, is making sure they're relaxed. And one of the easy ways you can do that is just simply move their leg back and forth. And it should feel very easy to move. And you simply pick up at the knee. The tone is normal. You should see the heel drag right up uh, the bed without any issue. If their tone were increased, oftentimes when you pull up like that, just as you see here, his heel would come up off the bed. Of course, you should always assess like with like to make sure that there's no asymmetry in the tone. You can also assess the tone of lower extremities in the seated position, though a little bit less sensitively so, uh, simply by moving the leg back and forth and again pulling up to get some sense as to whether or not there might be a spastic catch. And again, comparing like with like. Once you have them adequately relaxed, uh, you can then assess reflexes. Again, most of us are familiar with the patellar reflex. And ideally, if they were in a gown, for example, you'd want to watch the quadriceps to look for a contraction of the actual muscle. Again, comparing leg with leg. Moving down then to the ankle reflex, it's important to make sure that the ankles taunt uh, before trying to assess the reflex, because these are stretch reflexes. And these are all normal. Uh, additionally, you should be able to assess clonus while you're down here, simply by again making sure that they relax around the ankle joint before having a swift uh, pull up, jerky like motion. Uh, and what you're looking for is a jerky motion back towards you. Um, you can have two or three beats of clones that can be physiological in nature and people that are naturally slightly hyper-reflexic. Hyper uh, but having more than five beats or sustained clones is always pathological. Uh, moving on then, uh, assessing it for Babinski, simply taking the thumb and dragging it along the outside bottom of the foot in a smooth, graceful motion, being gen gen generally gentle. Uh, looking for uh, the toe to rise in a majestic sort of fashion. And since his don't, his would be negative. Uh, additionally, you can also assess for spread. Again, this would assess for uh, hyperreflexia, uh, hitting the adductors. And what you're looking for is actually contraction of the opposite adductor, creating uh, bilateral adduction, even though you're only hitting one side. Just wanted to show the Babinski, sort of a close-up. You're stroking the outside of the foot in an upward, smooth, slow, graceful motion. That isn't particularly painful. You shouldn't be hurting the patient while you're doing this. Some people are particularly uh, ticklish, in which case there are a number of uh, similar maneuvers, looking again for the toe to come up in a nice, smooth, majestic uh, way. One is called the Chaddock, where you stroke the side of the foot. People tend to be less ticklish there. Uh, alternatively, you can use your knuckles and coming down the shin, uh, this does hurt a little bit more. It's not very nice to do in awake people. Or alternatively, you can either uh, grip the Achilles or even the whole calf, really applying any sort of noxious stimuli on the lower extremity, Canalissa Babinski, pinprick onto uh, the toes, and there's even one where you pull the pinky off to the side.